whom I, whom I shall be talking to uh, next week. Now, it is very mysterious how the universe came into being. It's a deeply mysterious and interesting question. And, and can I just interrupt? It's an old question, a very old question. Thomas Aquinas in the 13th century was asking this same question. He said, there must have been a time when no physical things existed, but something can't come from nothing. That was his view. It's just well, repeated by us. Something error. can come from nothing, and that's what physicists are now, are now telling us. Um, I could give you, you asked me to give you a, a layman's interpretation. It would be a very, very layman's interpretation. Um, when you have um, matter and antimatter and you put them together, um, they cancel each other out and give rise to, to nothing. What Lawrence Krauss is now suggesting is that if you start with nothing, the process can go into reverse and produce matter and antimatter. The, the theory is still being worked out. Well, there are many troubles with Richard's uh, teachings, but a, a fundamental one is that he dumbs down God and he soups up nothing. You can quickly respond to you that. Can, you can question. dispute exactly what's, what's meant by, by nothing, but whatever mm. it is, it's very, very simple. <laughs> and why is that funny? <laughs> well, I think it's a bit funny to be trying to define nothing. 